Hello, this is the Preventative Maintenance Actual Service video. Once you start using your Preventative Maintenance add-on and you've got your vendors and categories set up and you've got your budgeted services out there, you're going to need to put in some actual services that were performed. To do this, we click on Maintenance and we go down to Actual Service. This will bring up a list of any of the actual services we've already entered with a total at the bottom of the actual expenses we've spent so far in this time range. So from February 27th to May 27th, we've actually spent $3,173.55. Now we're ready to add a new service. So we're going to click on Add, and that brings up just some blank fields to be filled in at the top of the list. So first we're going to select the date that the service was done and it was performed on April 22nd. So I'm going to just click on that date from my calendar and there it is. Next, what category was this under? I'm going to click on the category and this was done Windows and Glass. So I'm going to click on Windows and Glass. Now I have to select the vendor where I got this service done. Click on the drop down. This was done at Speedy Auto Glass. Next, which equipment was this done on? Click on the drop down, and this was done on Truck 103. Now we have to enter the amount of the bill, how much we actually spent to get this service done, and it was $226.45. Finally, if we want, we can put in some notes. You don't have to put anything in here. As you can see, lots of my entries don't have it. But if you want to put in something, just so you know why this service was performed, we're going to replace the chipped windshield. Once everything's been entered and you're satisfied with what you have in there, you click on the check mark to save it, and it's now added to the list. Note how my total actual expenses has changed. It was at $3,173.55. It's now at an even $3,400 after adding in this cost for the re the replacing the chipped windshield. If you need to edit a service, perhaps you've added in the wrong price, you can just click on Edit and go in and change it. So maybe replacing this flat tire was actually $235.75. Or perhaps the date was incorrect. Perhaps you didn't actually do this on the 5th, you did it on April 7th. So you make any changes you need to do after clicking on Edit, and when you're done you just click on Save, and it's changed it immediately. Your total has changed, so everything's done right then and there after you finish saving that edit. If you want to delete an actual service that actually you put in and then realize it shouldn't be there, you just click over where it says delete on the little red circle. Click on that. It's going to tell you it can't be undone. I say OK. My entry for air fresheners is gone. And again, my total actual expenses has been adjusted to reflect that deleted actual service. If you want to do some sorting, you can sort on your different category, or sorry, your different headers. So if I want to sort on date, descending or ascending, category, descending or ascending, vendors, equipment, even on the amount, even on your notes. So you can sort on anything, any of these headers. If you want to refresh your screen, you just click on Show All. And again, it comes out just the way it, it's normally sorted by date. That's the default. If you want to look for services on a particular category, then you would just click on S Select Category. And maybe I want to know all my services for just oil changes. Click on Oil Change, and there they all are. There are my equipment types and the different amounts. I want to search on tires. Again, there are all entries just within this time range. You can change that time range, so maybe I want to see everything for tires that happened just in April. So I would pick my start date as April 1st. My finish date is April 30th. Do a search, and now I get entries that just fall within that time range. I can also search on specific equipment. So maybe I just want to know what's going on with Truck 101. 
just for tires, just for the month of April. So you can refine your search to as narrow a result range as you want by just selecting different choices here. If I change and remove select category, it's going to be everything for Truck 101 in the month of April. So you can see there are different ways of making combinations. Maybe I don't care what equipment it is, but I want to know about all oil changes just within the month of April, and so on. So different combinations. Refresh my screen, click on Show All. If you want to export this to Excel, you can click on the little green X. This will create an Excel report. Just open the report up. And there's my Excel report with all that information that was on my screen. If I want to print a report in a PDF style, I can click on the printer icon and it brings it up as a PDF and I just click on print. This concludes the video on preventative maintenance, actual service. Thank you.